guys, man. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I know I have been gone for quite a while, but we are back. So, we're back with some better quality. Shout out to my man Will for recording the video. I'm hoping that we could keep producing high quality videos like this every week for you guys. I promise you from now on we're going to stay consistent, but I wanted to talk about what's been going on with the E30 as of late. So, I have not made a video on the car, what it was doing, because I never honestly got a chance to. Basically, when I first came down here, when we first bought the shop, I started doing a few rips with the E30. It is the only thing I had to daily around here. So as you guys know, this car makes 18 pounds of boost. I have it set to 13 pounds as of right now. Just lowered the boost setting just because I really don't need to make 18 pounds every day. 13 pounds is just fast enough. I had it set to 13 pounds. I do a pull and before I even get to 13 pounds, I want to say around like 11 to 12, the car would just start two-stepping at about 4,000 RPMs. I did not know what the hell was going on. I was going crazy. It's a standalone ECU. I have nothing to read it with and the check engine light wasn't even on. So. It usually throws a code, but I was not getting any codes for it. Started going crazy, changing a bunch of stuff, looking at the wastegate, looking at maybe the wastegate's not opening up properly. Regapping spark plugs for like three times, putting everything back in. Then I started noticing that uh, maybe it's just the coil packs, because I, I have stock coil packs on the car. Everyone that boosts these things, they usually upgrade to the, well, I'm going to show you now, the ECS tuning coil packs. So I'm going to go ahead and take the beauty cover off, tell you what I'm running. And ever since I did this upgrade, I have no issues with the car whatsoever. And uh, it runs 10 times better. This shit is a little pain in the ass when it curves down to the turbo. And then getting over this turbo line. But, wow, look at that, I got the wrong size out. Anyway. Here are the upgraded Bavarian Auto, Auto Sport coil packs. Pick these up from ECS Tuning. Anybody with an M5X motor, I recommend these two. These are absolutely the best coils you can run on these motors. Every one turbo I've seen all over the forums, they were going crazy about these. I had no idea why. I thought, you know, they do the same job as regular coil packs. They definitely don't. The car is no longer misfiring or two stepping on a pull. It's just it's running how it's supposed to. Only thing is now, I don't know how accurate the dyno numbers are anymore because when we did put this on the dyno, we had stock coil packs on the car. And the car was boost cutting and anti-lagging basically. Without anti-lag setting up, that's how it felt. The car was literally two-stepping on the dyno mid-pull. And it was because of the coil packs. Now I don't know how much power the car actually makes. I'm sure it feels a lot faster with these coils on, but I'm not sure. We're gonna have to find a dyno shop out here, throw it on a dyno, in Florida here and uh, see how much power it makes as of right now. You guys saw how disappointed I was when this thing made 360 wheel horsepower when I know well well over fours these things make all the time with this exact same setup everything stock unopened motors turbo with this setup are hitting 400 plus with no problem so I wasn't sure why this thing was not hitting 400 but we'll soon find out if she does make 400 because it feels a lot faster now. I'm actually going to give this thing a wipe down. It looks like it got pretty dirty. I don't know what the hell all that is. This is probably all the heat from the downpipe making burn marks on this thing. A great upgrade. None of the heat gets to the coil packs. So this is honestly fire. Shout out to Vader Solutions for hooking me up with this. So we're going to throw this bitch back on. Probably go for a drive in this car since we haven't got many driving videos with this setup yet. <laughs> Don't make this bolt too tight, or else you're gonna wind up like me. I snapped the other one. I should have two bolts here. We got apparently some type of festival going on right behind my shop. And go, bro, look at all these cars here. These people are starting to, if not only do they take this entire lot, they're starting to come into the shop lot without asking, without nothing, like they clearly do not give a shit whose property it is. Just come look, in. Look, he's Bro, I don't have anywhere. any, when we come back, I literally don't have a spot to park the E30 back in. Right now, we're gonna go out for some rips, show you guys how the car runs. It runs amazing. I know you guys haven't got a chance to see me drive this car much. 
just because I've been so busy with the shop, but we're gonna try to make that up in this video. And you guys are gonna get to see my boy Will's reaction because I do have the GoPro going. One thing I definitely learned is that Florida cops do not play. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, no, I got my first uh, ticket here actually not too long ago. Went to my first event, they got me for no seatbelt. And look, no seatbelt still. Yeah, I'm not gonna put a seatbelt <laughs> This car has no airbags. You think a seatbelt's gonna help me? Just noticed today too, my AFR stopped working. I guess the sensor went bad. Still gonna have to. Uh, replace that sensor because this thing is definitely not running at 147. <laughs> I wish. But this car runs a little bit richer. But idling it's at around 12. It's not horrible. But it's definitely not running that good.
watch this. We're just getting back to the shop. Look at look at how many cars are right here, bro. This is insane. None of these belong to the shop. I'm literally looking for a parking in my own shop. All because of this bomb ass show. So, once again, thank you guys for tuning into this video. This is where we're gonna end off here, unfortunately, because uh, this band right here is making quite a bit of noise. I can't get any decent footage in without them playing some fucking music. This is what the shop looks like currently from outside. I don't think I've showed you guys the complete look yet. We got some decals to put on the windows still. Before we do end off this video, I told you guys in the last video that I'm going to show you the new car I recently picked up. So I'm not going to leave you guys off with a huge teaser, but I'm going to show you the car. It's very, very dirty right now, which is why the next video will be completely on this car right here. We just picked up an E36 M3 sedan, manual, techno violet. We don't care that she's dirty right now because we're going to clean her up and make a video only for this car soon. But Come take a quick look inside. Dove Gray Vaders I just put in. That one has a unlocked? garbage bag. No, it's not. We'll get into the specifics of this car next video. But once again, thank you guys for tuning in. And